Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set is based on the concept of time zones. It says a businessman traveled between international cities A, B, C and D. The table below provides his flight departure and arrival times recorded in each city's respective standard time zones. So we have named the time zones as AST, BST, CST, DST as per the city. The duration of a flight is same for both the outbound and return journeys. So if a person is going from A to B, take some time. So from returning <coughs> also will take the same time. Now based on it, we are given that the person goes from A to B, then B to D, then D to C, C to D, D to B and B to A. Now based on it, we need to answer these questions. Okay. Now how do we solve such question is? If you see A to B, so uh, we see the movement from A to B, we see that uh, he starts at 7 and reaches at 8 am, right? And while from B to A, if we see he starts at uh, 0, that is uh, 12 am and reaches at 2 am. So if we see A to B, he takes 1 hour and B to A, he takes 2 hours. So the thing is, uh, he will have that extra time uh, that the time difference is due to the time zone. So how do we find the travel time is we take average of this duration 1 and 2. So if we take that average that is 1 and a half hours. So that means the journey from A to B is 1 and a half hours. Now suppose A starts he starts from A at 7 and reaches B. Uh, so the journey is 1 and a half hours should reach at 8.30 but the time at B is 8 am. So it means that if this is A, B is 30 minutes behind towards the west you can say that B is 30 minutes behind. Okay. Now the next thing we will see is A to A to B have seen the connection. Now let us see this connection from B to D. Okay. So from B to D here he takes one hour. And when he returns from D to B, he is taking 3 hours. So when we say B to D, two, uh, 1 and 3 hours, that means the average time is 2 hours. So the distance between uh, BD is 2 hours. And what is the gap? The gap is of 1 hour. Okay. So uh, he takes one uh, 2 hours, that means he should reach D at 12 but the time there is 11. So that means D is 1 hour behind B. So the gap is of 1 hour. Now similarly, let us see D to C. D to C, here it is 2, right? He is taking 2 hours. And here we see that minus 5, okay? So uh, like we are saying that he is starting at, uh, he is going from, sorry, he is going from uh, D to C. So D to C, it is minus 2 and C to D it is 5. So if we take the average that is 3 by 2. So C and D the distance is going to be 1 and a half hours. Okay. Now 1 and a half hours and uh, if we see like if he is going from C to D. So ideally from 14 he should reach at 15.30 because the time is 1 and a half hours. Okay. Now he is reaching at 19 that means 3 and a half hours time duration. So that means uh, D is ahead. So C is back by three and a half hours. So that is the time difference between C and D. So C is behind by three and a half hours. So we know the journey from A to B is one and a half hours. B to D is two hours. C to D is one and a half hours and vice versa. And the time difference between A to B is 30 minutes or you can say 0 0.5 hours. B and D, the difference is 1 hour and C and D, it is 3 and a half hours. Now, what is the flight duration between A and B? So, A and B, the duration is 1 and a half hours. It is asking in minutes. So, that will be 90 minutes. What is the time difference between B and C? So, we have C here and B here. The difference is 1 and 3 and a half, total 4 and a half hours. What is the time in A when the person reaches D from C? So when the person reaches D from C, 
so the person is reaching D at 19, right? And we have to tell the time in A. So D is one and a half hours behind, one hour 30 minutes behind, one hour 30 minutes behind. So D is at 19, right? So this will be one and a half. If we add, it becomes 20, 30. That is 8.30 p.m. How many hours did he spend traveling during the given trip? So he made A to B, which is one and a half hours, B to D, two hours, then D to C, again, uh, one and a half hours, C to D, again, one and a half, two and one and a half. So one and a half into four, six plus four, that is total 10 hours of journey. What is the maximum time difference between any of the two cities? So maximum time difference is between C and A. So it is one and a half plus three and a half. That is total five hour time difference. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.